Hey everybody, it's Q again, and this is a very short video. In fact, so short, I'm not even sure YouTube will let you play it. Uh, I wanted to update you on my compact flash uh, issues I was having. Uh, they stopped working. I All I did was move across the country and my compact flash would no longer show up in my uh, Amiga. So I don't know what happened. I mean, this this was in this. And I have multiple versions of this, like here's a, here's a, a SanDisk one. Um, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Uh, nothing's changed, but um, this, this four gig stopped working. This eight gig stopped working. Now these all of course work uh, in the Amiga um, when set up with like 314 or higher ROMs. Uh, you can, you know, use them, the larger format drives. I still recommend partitioning down to two gig chunks though, just for safety. But anyway, I forgot that I uh, do have these Western Digital silicon drives, the old uh, uh, PADA, you know, industrial type drives. I've actually got one of these in this 1200. Um, that's its main system drive. They're just more robust drives. They have slightly better read, write, longevities and whatnots. But, uh, this two gig one I had, which I pulled out of an old, my old, no, an other 1200, uh, guess what? So, I, you know, what's here? We'll put it in here. Fumble, fumble, oh boy, here we go. Let's just kinda, oh my goodness. If you actually put it in the right way, okay. So, there you go, here, put it in here. By the way, I have, oh my God. I haven't even started drinking yet. Um, so we'll go ahead and put it in the slot. And I have used the deoxit on the slots too, just to make sure they weren't gross. So we'll go ahead and slap this in and boom, it shows up right away, transfer. So I'm just gonna use this two gig PADA Western Digital, what, Digital? Western Digital Silicon Drive as my transfer drive because it works, yay! I don't have to keep ripping my Amiga part to put files on it. So that's all, uh, if you're having weird problems with your PCMCA on your, at least your 1200, and um, even if you're using like four gig or even two gig transcend type drives, I don't know, get your hands on one of these Western Digital Silicon Industrial type card drives. They, um, they're on eBay all over the place, different sizes. I have three, I have a two gig, I think a four gig, and then a 512 megabyte one. Um, they, 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 they're working, at least that one's working. So. That's it, just an update on my CF card issue. Uh, as you can see, yeah, this has the 130 megs and is still running well. This has the TF1260 in it. This is my, pretty much becoming my main Amiga now for making videos. Uh, I did install the MMU lib that comes with it and everything seems to be working. All the caches are in here. It says the MMU is in use and I mean, the speeds look really good. Um, however, the version that the TF1260 comes with for MMU lib, it looks like it, it installs some other things or modified some other things um, that's different from the regular uh, AmyNet download one, maybe, I don't know. But it added a user startup file called um, something, you know, something E. What was it called? I don't know. It added a file that was causing... Uh, the, the workbench boot up to hang. So all I did was rem out that line in the user startup and now workbench boots uh, happily. I think it was like fast triple E, but it was some kind of conflict with one of the math libraries. Now, maybe this will cause a problem when I go to start rendering in Lightwave and it'll be missing uh, libraries or functions it's, it's expecting. Maybe I'll have to just completely wipe out this install and start all over again. I don't know, that'll be another video. Thanks for watching guys. And as always, you can tell I really don't know what I'm doing, but I keep making videos. All right, thank you. Hope to see you again soon.